Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again bringing another math video. This one I'm going to be talking about the surface area of a hemisphere. So a hemisphere is exactly half a sphere. So I showed this when I did the volume. This is my uh, son's Easter egg. And it's not exactly a, it's not exactly a sphere. Uh, it was an egg, obviously. Here's the other half of it. But if you kind of visualize this being a sphere, uh, a hemisphere is exactly half of a sphere. So the area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So that's the area of a sphere. So the area of a hemisphere is not exactly half of that. It doesn't work like volume. So when you divide something in half, with volume you get exactly half. With surface area, you open up another part of the surface area. So we have half of the surface area that we would normally have with a sphere, this curvy part right here. But we also have this new flat part down on the bottom right here. That's a circle. So what we actually get for a hemisphere is we have half of the normal volume, or, which, or half of the normal surface area, sorry, which would be 2 pi r squared. And the other part, which is this flat circle here which of course is just pi r squared, flat circle, I don't know if there's a curved circle, but uh, just a circle, which gives us 3 pi r squared. So this is the surface area of a hemisphere. So that is important to note, the difference between finding the volume of a hemisphere and the surface area of a hemisphere. So the volume of a hemisphere, we need to know sphere divided by 2, perfect, we're done. With this one, is not quite simple because you open up this new surface which is the circle so this is what this before was captured inside the circle so we took it apart and now we have this new face all right so let's go ahead now and uh, use this formula in action so let's say we have a radius of 7.1 and let's call it inches so if I go area is equal to 3 pi, and my radius is 7.1 squared, then it's just a matter of going through the numbers. Really simple, really easy to use. So 3 pi times 7.1 squared, and then I get 475.1 inches squared. Now the other scenario is when I might have something backwards. Now I use my pi button, guys, so you can use 3.14 if you want to. If you have area, and let's just make up number 45.9 meters squared. And you need to find the radius of that hemisphere. So if I have 45.9, I let it equal 3 pi r squared. Easiest thing I can do is just divide both sides by 3 pi, just like this. Now, believe it or not, we got to be really careful when we do this number in our calculator. So, especially on a TI. So if I look at this guy, I need to do 45.9 divided by, and what I do is I sometimes I'll put it in brackets like this, 3 pi in brackets, and I'll show you why I do that. So that gives me, when I get it, 4.87. Let's see what I get if I don't do that. So if I do 45.9 divided by 3 pi, oh, 45, 45.9 divided by 3 Pi. If I don't do that, you can see the answer I get. So what it actually does is it does 45.9 divided by 3, then times 5. It doesn't do that 3 divide by the entire 3 pi. So just be care careful with that. So that's actually r squared. So now I need to take the square root of that. So square root of 4.87. And that gives me my radius of 2.2. And that is my answer. So guys, thank you guys for watching this video. And hopefully this helped you a little bit in your, um, you know, your math uh, course. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in class.